Hi guys! Um, this is my presentation for the example and explication of gender and I actually made a PowerPoint but I just wanted to say hi and I hope you guys enjoy. So let me get set up here. Okay. So for my example and explication I decided to choose Mad Men um, which is from my media self inventory one of my favorite shows and for this particular presentation I'll be showing um, a clip from season one episode nine called you think you're being helpful so a little bit of background on this um, particular show it's an AMC series and it's set in the 1960s there are seven seasons um, ranging from 2007 to 2015 and the show just follows, um, it's Sterling Cooper Advertising Agency, and um, the main character in the show, Don Draper, is the creative director um, that leads the team, the team members, which are all men, and any women in the actual show are secretaries or um, from the personal background of each member of the show, and so they're wives. So, um, the video clip that I'll be showing you that I selected, you'll see a little bit of big break room banter in which Joan, the redhead, um, she's the head secretary, is speaking with Peggy, who was just hired recently. She's the new assistant, but she was also given the opportunity to do a little bit of um, copywriting for the team. So what we're going to see is Joan's advice to Peggy. So let me just get this set up for you guys. What's going on with Mr. Draper? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Very good. I didn't mean to give this back to you. I had it completely dry cleaned. Why don't you keep it? Have it taken in here and let out there. It's your dress. Hot tea, that's a good idea. What are you talking about? Peggy, you are falling prey to a very common situation for new girls. I'm not new anymore. Well, that's just it. Don't you want to do well here? I'm the first girl to do any writing in this office since the war. Marge told me. Writing? Is that what this is about? I thought you were doing that to get close to Paul. Thank you. Again. I heard you were being considered for an account because a client's wife saw you and thought it would be okay if he worked with you. You know, you're not a stick. And yet I never wonder what men think of me. You are hiding a very attractive young girl with too much lunch. I know what men think of you. That you're looking for a husband and you're fun. And not in that order. Peggy, this isn't China. There's no money in virginity. I'm not a virgin. No. Of course not. I just realized something. You think you're being helpful? Well, I am trying, dear. I'm going home. clip. Um, now I just want to explain my choices for the ideological chain. Um, I actually chose to explain sexuality. So um, the four constructs that I decided make up this chain would be participation, power, equality, and innocence. And I'll just break those down for you really quickly. So um, I would say participation, uh, people that view the actual show, the audience is aware that men have um, this concept of an ideal woman, uh, what they expect um, them to act like, to look like, and um, by participating in this, Joan is actually showing that she is catering to those expectations by participating and further asking Peggy to do so as well. So power, 
um, the idea that men in the workplace are superior and would only help um, an inferior woman if they found her desirable. So that, you know, is directly related to her sexuality. And so Joan's subtle hint when she um, kind of pushes the dress towards Peggy is furthering this um, idea of the power. So the third construct would be equality, um, more importantly, the lack thereof within the workplace. Um, when Peggy fires back at Joan in this particular scene, she's not only referring to the fact that Joan um, is kind of questioning why she would be working so hard. She thinks that she wants to find a husband and be noticed by a particular male, um, but she's, you know, also acknowledging the fact that by continuing to um, further this behavior by women and cater to men, the equality will never be achieved in the workplace by women. And then the fourth one is innocence. And when Joan says, this isn't China, there's no money in virginity, I just believe that this further uh, pushes the argument that sexual women would be um, advancing their careers you know, due to the, the power of men and how much emphasis they would put on it. So um, those are my constructs for my ideological chain. And thanks for watching, guys.